it is, it is very much like an oil industry. We sell you the fuel to burn in your car, because if you don't do, it costs a lot of money to do it. Or we come up with the new tricks of electric cars, it's so advantageous to the refineries and to the oil companies, unbelievable to compare to the present cars. But are we going to the electric? In electric cars which they need to be charged on the wall, or are we going electric cars which never need to be charged? The, 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 there's a lot of games played even with this, it's the same what we talk about feeding people. A lot of people, if you understand what electric cars means, if the new, if the present pattern is kept, is uh, gifted to the refineries, gifted to the oil companies. To produce electric power at the power stations, we use the most crudest oil, cost nothing to refine. We don't need to have petrol stations, we don't need to pay people to sell it, we don't need to transport it, and all sorts of mess. As a refiner, uh, the the biggest gift given to is this electric cars because we sell the oil of not clean, not clear to be burnt in from into power stations. Governments are happy instead of paying a ten dollar a, a, a lit, let's say a barrel a gallon, they pay a dollar a gallon, but they charge you electricity at the end. It's a win and win for the government and oil companies, the electric cars. But if you try now to bring the new technologies which allows you to do 10,000 kilometers for one charge, government will stop you. If you bring a car which doesn't need charging, there is no way they allow you to come because they lose revenue. All this game you see with electric cars is one of the most profitable businesses for the government. There is no uh, environmental cleaning, car exhaust, the burning of the fuel in the power stations to produce your electricity is hundred times worse than your cars. Example, look at the ships and the amount of pollution they create. Governments don't care. But, if you as a scientist, you come up with a car, which now Tesla does six, seven hundred per cycle of charging, kilometers, if you bring this one to a ten thousand kilometer, which the technology exists today, the governments don't allow it to come in. Because they have not planned for the revenue from it to be less, unless they charge you the revenue, which gives you the ten thousand, the same as you charge a 700. We are in the same position. Technologies, sciences, which the Keshe Foundation, I'm sure many, many other scientific organizations done, will not be allowed to come into the market so easily, because we shake the apple cart. If you took a bottle of the Nikans, and you spray some water on your knee, as Dean says, this changes life, 90%, 95%, then uh, what's going to happen to all the operating room, all the other things which they were supposed to, all the doctors we educated to do the knee operation. And all the incomes which brings with it. What about the pharmaceuticals which and the others who are going to look after you after your knee operation. If you spray out water, done. A life of pain away, no operation done. The governments don't allow technology. We are now in a position, uh, 
that we can eradicate a lot of problems uh, health-wise on the wellness. But it, it has to come in the right way. We can feed people, it has to come the right way. And if I can tune, if you understand the gravity, what I'm going to state today, if you understand what I'm going to say, you understand how advanced we are. If I can chew through the headphone to your soul to feed you, to change you, do you think we haven't reached the point of not needing the headphone and reach your soul and feed it? 